everyone, and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Hey, got some good news for you today. The good folks over at Topaz have been doing some more updates. They just updated Topaz Mask AI and released it. Now, this is a uh, free update for existing Topaz Mask AI owners. There's a lot of new features here. And hey, it's on sale right now. They always do this whenever they do an update. It seems that way to me anyway, but it's on sale again. It's normally uh, $99.99 on sale for $79.99. Now that's a limited time. It's on sale for the next 15 days. And here's the ticker up here. The timer is going down. So this is a good time to pick this up if uh, you don't have Mask AI. And these new improvements are amazing. Let me read you some of the improvements here. I got a list here. They added a new translucent uh, processing model. Uh, think bride veils and things like that. And um, they added a new toolbar kind of to speed up your workflow uh, for, and that toolbar is for the TriMap brushes and the tools. And they have an improved uh, range for the color brush uh, tools. And there's several new tweaks to Mask AI, as well as, as I said, there's a free update for all the existing Mask AI owners. So Mask AI is really cool. I'm going to show, show that interface to you, and we'll do a quick masking job as well. So, But you can go to the website here, and they have some really cool stuff on here that you could check out Mask AI with. Um, hey, and also, by the way, it is on sale, as I said, and also, if you look right here, you can get the creator bundle, which includes Mask AI, Topaz Studio 2, and Adjust AI. It's on sale. It's regularly $279.97 for $129.99. Now, I, like I said, this is a limited sale. Uh, what is today? Today is uh, August 20th in the year 2020. But for the next 15 days at 11 hours and 23 minutes, it is on sale. And also, if you use my, if you click on my affiliate link in the description below and use my promo code David Kelly, that's all one word, David Kelly, uh, at checkout, you'll save an additional 15% off the bundle or Mask AI itself. So, hey, let's get a look at this new Mask AI. Without any further ado, let's get started. This is what the new interface looks like when you first launch Mask AI. Now, here's some tutorials over here that you could click on and, and learn about Mask AI by clicking on these. So they're there for you. You can open up an image right here. Here's your new toolbar over here on the left-hand side right here. Now, this is version 1.3.0. Let's go ahead and open up an image. I picked this particular image right here because it's got a veil on it. So we could try this new uh, translucent mode out. Now, you'll notice down here at the bottom, things have changed a little bit. Uh, this is where your mask modes are, your AI artificial intelligent mode, your new translucent mode, and your contrast mode. Think of contrast mode for more simplistic uh, masks like a uh, cityscape where you have defined lines and things like that. That would be a basic mask. So basic, think contrast, translucent for veils and things like that, and AI for like sky replacements and more tougher type masks but this translucent is good for these veils and things like this and uh what else does it cover it covers fabrics and semi-transparent non-reflective materials and hopefully we'll, i'll get into some more tutorials on that later but this is just a quick look at what mask ai is like now that we have the new update okay and as, if you've ever watched any of my other uh, Mask AI videos, you'll know that Mask AI works with the TriMap system here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my compute brush right here just to draw around my subject here. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of draw right around here. I'm going to make my brush a little smaller. I'm going to use my left bracket key, make it a little bit smaller, come around this hair right here. I'm going to come down in here over in here now the veil is all right in here so i'm going to paint all this area blue around the hand and this area right in here paint this all blue because this is where the veil is in here and then just come over and paint the rest of this out and now again our toolbar is over here so here's our uh, bucket tool 
So I need to get a red cut bucket. So I'm going to click on that and I can click right there. So now this is the area I want to cut. The blue area is the area I want to compute and have mask AI figure it out. And the green area is the area that I want to keep. Now the next thing I need to do is come over here to the mask mode and pick out a uh, mode that I want. Well, I think I'm going to use a translucent mode because I have this veil right here. So let's click on translucent and now we'll click compute mask and see what kind of result we get. And here is our result. Now we have different ways we can view our mask. We can view it with a single view here, a double view, which is generally the way I like to start out. And we could look at four panes at once, different ways of cutting out the image or, or viewing the cutout of the image here. But I'm going to go back to the single view here. And now, uh, remember, we have our tools over here. So if we need refining tools like the color range tool or the uh, bucket tools or the brush tools, they're all over here. Um, and then the background is right here. So if you want to change out the background, click on background. Now you have choices. You can have no background. You can blur out a background, which I use a lot in my flower photographies. And I have videos showing you how that works. You could just add a solid color to the background or you could add an image. In my case, I want to add an image. So let's click on image here and then click load image. And then your file browser will open up. Now, just point your file browser to where your uh, replacement background will be found at. Mine will be found at inside of this drive right here. And let me see. I'm on a Mac, so I can use tags. I know it's a green tag, sorry. And right in here, I have some old Mac Fun Sky replacement files that I got off Mac Fun back in the day. I think I want to use a warm sky on the background here. And I think I'll try. Oh, which one do I want to try here? I think I'll try this one right here. I'll just double click it. And now all I have to do is come on the right hand side here where it says transform. See right there, click that. You'll have a single pane now. I'm gonna make this a little smaller. And then I can just drag this up like so. And just like that, my sky is replaced. Now, all I have to do is click transform at this point. And now I can see my two images side by side again. And now I can look through it and make sure everything looks good. See if I need to do any kind of refinement on it. I'm going to go ahead to a single view now. And see right here where it says show try map. See this little uh, icon right here. Click that and click on keep. And now we can see our image here. And then we can zoom in and out on it if we need to here. And what we could do next is on background, see where it says adjust background. Now, if this is a drop down, if you click this, you can go to foreground or background. I'm going to stay on background, but this is nice. So I can adjust the exposure in the background. Like if I need to lighten it up any, just to match the scene or darken it, you know, depending what we want to do. So I think I might just lighten it up just a tiny little bit. And we can play with the contrast, give it less contrast, give it more contrast. Maybe, maybe just a little bit of contrast there. And uh, we have a tint and a saturation so and a temperature. So I could warm that sky up even more by moving this uh, temperature to the right to warm it. Or I can cool it to the left. So depending what we need to do there. But this is what I really love about Mask AI. We have all these different adjustments here that we can really tweak it up. And if I need to blur that background more to match the background that's back here because everything is out of focus here so it wouldn't make sense to have the sky in focus when the background is out of focus so i'm going to take this blur and i'm going to blur that more back there let's see trying to get a point where i think it looks right and i'm thinking maybe right right about there kind of looks natural now we could come to the refinement tools right here. So click on refinement and we have a bunch of different adjustments here like edge hardness. We can adjust the hardness of the edge, edge strength, edge shift, foreground recovery. Foreground recovery and edge shift is something I like to use a lot. Let me zoom in a little bit to the image right here and look around his hair here. If I take this foreground recovery and I start to move it to the right, see how that kind of tightens that up. It cleans up the edges on there. Got to be careful. I don't want to go too far with it. Maybe something like that. And sometimes what I'll do also is take the edge and maybe just shift that edge in just a little wee bit. 
Don't want to go too far with that. A little bit goes a long way. But maybe somewhere, maybe somewhere right around there and zoom back out. And there we go. We have a sky replaced. And that gives you an idea how that new uh, translucent um, uh, mask mode works. But it's really cool. Oh, and by the way, if we go back to background, if I wanted to adjust the foreground, I could uh, switch this adjust from background to foreground. And if I wanted to increase the exposure on the foreground, I could, or I could decrease the exposure a little bit if I wanted to. In fact, I might just decrease it a little bit. And of course, I can adjust contrast, highlights. I could pull those highlights in a little bit, possibly something like that. So there you go. But that is the new update for Topaz Mask AI. I'll do more videos on, on this uh, new update. But for now, that just gives you an idea what the new uh, features are. I think there's some really nice changes. I like the new interface. I like the fact that the tools are over here now. And if you click on the brush, it'll just to show you all your different brushes are in here, all your different buckets are in here, and your color ranging is here. So, And also you can pan around on the screen as well. So it's pretty cool. These are really great updates, so I'm really liking it. Well, there you go. That was a first look at uh, Topaz Mask AI, the new update version 1.3.0. And remember, if you already own Mask AI, this is a free update for you. So go ahead and grab it. I mean, there's a lot of really good new features in here. A new improved uh, interface, uh, the new uh, translucent mode for doing like wedding veils and, and things like that. It's really nice, a really nice, great feature. And there's been some uh, tweaks and updates to the Mask AI program itself. So this is a great update. Now, also remember, it is on sale. It's normally $99.99. It's on sale for $79.99. And a lot of times whenever uh, Topaz do a pretty major update, they will put their products on sale and they're doing it again. So thank you for that, Topaz. Now, um, also, I want to point out, if you uh, click on my affiliate link in the description below and use my promo code David Kelly, that's all one word, David Kelly at checkout, you'll save an additional 15% off of Topaz Mask AI. And I do get a small commission whenever you do that, and it really helps me out keeping these tutorials coming uh, to you. I love Topaz products. I've been using Topaz probably since they came out over 10 years, and I don't know how long they've been in business, but I've probably been using it for over 10 years, to be honest with you. But I love their products. I always have, and I'm sure I always will, because they keep improving things and getting better and better and better. Now, today, at the time I'm recording this video, it is... Uh, Thursday, August 20th, 2020. You probably won't see it till Friday, the 21st. But it's on sale today and it runs through Friday, September 4th, 2020. And so that's probably going to be another 14 days for you. But also you can get the Creator Bundle, which is uh, includes Mask AI, Topaz Studio 2, which I love Topaz Studio 2, and I have a ton of videos on it, and Adjust AI, which is becoming one of my favorite programs as well. And that normally runs at $279.97, and it's on sale for $129.99. So it's a good time to pick up these pieces of software. I highly recommend them, really, really do. And... Um, but there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.